All right, so in the previous video we went from mixed numbers to improper fractions and this time we're going to go the other way around. We're going to go from improper fractions to mixed numbers. Uh, why would we do that? Well, generally if we are multiplying or dividing fractions we usually work with improper fractions and it might be at the end of our calculation we get something like 27 uh, 28 divided by 7 or 28 over 7 as our final calculation. Well that would be um, acceptable but to get the final mark on an exam paper you really need to take this then to its logical conclusion to get it to the smallest that we possibly can. 28 over 7 is exactly the same as saying 28 divided by 7. In other words, how many lots of 7 are there in 28? These two little dots represent the 7 and the 28. So if we wanted to, we could write it that way, 28 divided by 7. Now if you, uh, if you know your times tables, there are 4 lots of 7 to make 28. So 4 times 7 is 28. So the answer to this one is four whole ones. Okay, now it might be that you uh, have a few fractions left over. So let's say you have a, a calculation and then the calculation finishes at 35 over 8. Okay, well what we've got to look at is how many lots of 8 there are in 35. Okay, well there are four lots of eight which make 32 and because we have 35 there are three eights left over. So what we've gone from there is an improper fraction to a mixed number and the mixed number would be the final conclusion of your calculation. Okay, so one final example might be something like 50 over 20. Well we could say how many lots of 20 are there in 50 but one of the things we can do with fractions which is what makes working with fractions really uh, useful is that we can use equivalent fractions first before we start getting involved in any division. What I mean by that is that we can look at the 50 and the 20 and make them a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to deal with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 10 because with a fraction, whatever I do to the top, I must do to the bottom. And providing I do both functions to the top and the bottom, then I still will maintain my equivalent fraction. So 50 over 20, so 50 divided by 10 will be 5 and 20 divided by 10 will be 2. So I've now got numbers which are a little bit easier to work with. And I look at how many lots of 2 there are in 5. Well, 2 2's are 4 and then I have 1 out of the group of 2 left. So the equivalent of 50 over 20, I can then make a little bit smaller just to make my life a bit easier and then convert through to a mixed number. I hope that's okay. Have a look on the website, see what you think, and there are some worksheets that you can download and have a go at for yourself.